All right. Well, <laughs> I am getting my Jack Pierce at Sleeping Giant Tattoo yep. in Knoxville, Tennessee. Brian is going to be doing the piercing. Um, it's May 19th, and we're still back in phase one of reopening. Um, and we picked out the jewelry and cleaned, and now he's started to mark it. Um, I was not operating the video right, so you missed all that. Take two. It was just the boring cleaning part. He didn't really miss much. He asked me if I was nervous about it. Um, my man can't be in here to hold my hand, so I'm staying calm talking to you guys. So let me show you this jewelry real quick. Have you ever used these little captive bead rings before? Mm, the rings with the beads for a piercing, out? like when I was 16. Okay. So the way it works, it's two pieces all together, okay? You have the ring itself, and if you look close, there's a little gap in that ring. Then you have a bead with a tiny dimple on either side of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So basically you take that bead, you line those dimples up on there, and you just pop it into place, okay? So it's just the tension from the ring that keeps that ball on there. Mm -hmm. They're really good about staying in place. The ball's just not just going to fall off or anything like that. If you're ever in a pinch, if you need to take this out or put it back in, hold on to one side of that ring, grab another ball, and pop it to the side. Now, I'm not going to lie. I make that look really easy because I do this all the time. Okay? Mm -hmm. They are kind of a pain in the butt to work with. So if you ever want to change your jewelry out, if you're afraid to do it yourself, come back in. We'll do it for you, okay? Sounds good. And I really shouldn't plan on taking it out at all for six to eight weeks. At least. At least. At least, yeah. It kind of use your own discretion. You know, if it's staying a little irritated, give it a little while longer. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Six to eight weeks is usually a good kind of medium point there. Well, I like the jewelry, so I don't plan on messing with it. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do now... You've got somebody... Oh. You taking off? Just lock me in. Okay. Good to see you, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. I'm going to go ahead and tilt you back here. You sit All back right. and comfortable for me. And so as far as the actual piercing goes, I'm not going to use clamps or a gun or anything like that on you. I'm going to use this little tube as a back. Okay? So I'm going to take this tube, put it up to the bottom mark that I made there in your ear. Once I get that where it needs to be, I'll line it up from the top, from the top side and then pierce straight down into that tube. Okay, it's over with like that. As soon as I get you pierced, I'll put your jewelry in and I'll clean you up and you're done. And so. people's typical response to that um, is? You know, honestly, the piercing is super quick. Um, for most people, the piercing itself really isn't that bad. The worst part about it, it makes you really weird sound just because it's right there next to your ear right now. Okay. But even that there was before you know it. Alright. Anything else? Nope. Alright, we'll tell you what. I want you to take as much time as you need and just let me know when you're ready, okay? I'm ready. Cool. I will walk you through this, okay? Alright. Okay, so you're going to feel a little pinch as I get everything lined up here, okay? And like I was telling Brian, you know, migraine shots on the regular, the pain of migraines, yeah. you know. Just give me a big deep breath in, blow it all the way out. That's it. How you doing? Oh, that was not bad. That was the worst of it. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure as yeah. your jewelry comes through. Doing okay? Yeah. It's going to feel kind of funky for a minute, but all the worst stuff is over with, okay? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing fine. It's going to hear a little click here. You are pierced. Your jewelry is in. Just need to pop that ball on, clean you up, and we are done, okay? All right. Yeah, you are bleeding a little bit, so let me get some gauze on there and get that all plotted up real quick.
So I've been thinking about getting this piercing for a while. I guess, Brian, how long ago did we start talking about this? So it's when you were doing the behind tutors, so that was... I'm trying to remember if that was two, three years ago. It was at least two. At least two. And we had started communicating more. about it. Um, I know Brian's wife, um, and we started discussing it, and then life just kind of got busy, and, and now I'm sidetracked, and, sidetracked and my migraines have been worse, and not really enjoying the rescue meds that I'm taking, and figured just, you know, try everything, um, see if this works for me, you know, um, Brian had said, you know, people respond differently, and it can take weeks to figure out if it's working and how well it's working. I've talked to some friends, and, you know, some friends have seen reductions, some have seen, you know, I don't know if I've talked to anybody in my circle with chronic migraines like I have, which is more than 16 a month, um, but, uh, Apparently, this dates back thousands of years ago, and um, they've uncovered bodies with this piercing, so, you know, it'd be interesting to know why they've done it for thousands of years, uh, but, you know, it's not pricey compared to all the medications and neurology appointments and everything you have to do and it's not a chemical in your body and all right so you're pierced your jewelry's in i'm just going to do a little bit of cosmetic wiping here and we're going to be done okay all right and so when you guys leave here are you going home are you stopping anywhere um i would say we're going straight home i think we're going to buy the wound care kit here okay the wound wash the wound wash. Cool. Um, the only reason I ask, this guy's probably going to spot for you just a little bit, okay? So as gross as it sounds, just let it clot up. Leave a little bit of dried blood around the edge of it. As long as you got a little bit of a scab there, it'll keep it from bleeding anymore. By the time you get home, after about two to three hours, you can go ahead and rinse that off, and you shouldn't have to worry about it anymore, okay? And rinse it off, you know, with it. Wind Make wash saline. Just the wind wash saline. Mm -hmm. Alright, well guys, I'm going to end this video and I'm going to talk to Brian.